Hey everyone, this is Cody, and today on Astro Blender, I'm going to be showing you how to secure unmounted filters into a filter wheel. Now this is pretty basic, so I'm actually going to be focusing more on how to keep your filters clean and dust out of your system while you're securing these. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so what you'll need is you'll need a screwdriver to take the cover off of your filter wheel. Obviously you're gonna need some filters, right? That's a given. <laughs> um, if you do uh, use a electronic filter wheel, it should come with a pair of uh, filter masks and the screws to attach them. Uh, if it doesn't, that's super lame and you'll have to buy some, but yeah, it should have these. Now, and then the most important part of all for keeping things clean is you're gonna want a bulb blower and this is really gonna help with dust and a pair of nitrile gloves is pretty much essential when you're doing this. Now, I know it sounds ridiculous, but a mask is also really helpful. Uh, whenever I've cleaned professional research grade optics, a mask is required as well as gloves. Like it's not even a question. Now, I know these are just little pieces of glass that we're putting in a filter wheel, but if you have a mask, you might as well wear it so that you don't get spittle or anything like that on your filters. Now, I'm making a video, so I'm not gonna be wearing a mask, but again, if you have one, I'd highly recommend to wear it, especially now that pretty much everyone has a mask. There's not really a reason not to do that. Now this is a ZWO 36 millimeter electronic filter wheel. And the reason you really want to keep these clean is because it's essentially a sealed system. So if you can get it really clean during your installation process, you don't really have to worry about dust in the future as long as you keep it attached to your telescope. So once your camera goes on and this goes into the telescope, there's really nothing to get dust inside of here. Now on a manual filter wheel, you're gonna have the, uh, the wheel to, to change your filters and that can let dust in on the side. But on these electronic filter wheels, they're essentially sealed. So as long as you're not using like a Newtonian or other type of open tube telescope, if you're using a Schmidt Cassegrain or a refractor and you don't change anything out, this is going to stay dust free. So that's uh, really why you want to do this is it pays off in the end to, to get it as clean as you can at the start. Okay, so the first step here is just to uh, remove the screws and remove this top plate. Okay, and then we're just going to take this cover off. Okay, so initially I'm just gonna get as much dust out of here as I can. I'm gonna use my bowl blower. Just blow this out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to carefully remove the filter from its little pouch here and grab it by the edges. There we go. Then before you insert the filter, just make sure you blow it off really good. And then the more reflective side should face the telescope. Now, if you want to, you can put your mask over right now, um, or you can put in all four and then blow them all off and then do your masks. Okay, so I've got a couple filters going here. Now I'm gonna do the G filter. So I'm just gonna slip this mask carefully over the top. And then you want to be really careful with your screwdriver. And again, throughout this whole process, you just want to be careful not to touch the surface of the filter itself. Even gloves can, can leave little marks and smudges on them. So unmounted filters, you really just want to be careful that you basically be as clean as possible.
Okay, so the other side is sealed up using a T adapter, so no dust is getting in that way. So I'm just gonna blow out everything real quick. And obviously, you know, if you have a Hydrogen Alpha S2 O3 filter, you can put those in right now. I'm still waiting for those, so blow everything out. And then quickly put the cover back on. And then re-thread our screws, get our camera on, and everything will be sealed up. All right, everyone, well that is how you properly install unmounted filters. Now, really, the proper way to do this is the clean way. So I hope that you were able to learn something from this if you're a beginner. Maybe you've never seen this done before. So again, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to, to let me know. But besides that, have a great day and clear skies.